Aloha, I'm Colleen Meyer, State Representative, and you are watching Right From the House. Today, I'm lucky to have these two good-looking men next to me, Representative Gene Ward and Senator Trimble. This was the 53rd day of a 60-day session. This is crunch time. Absolutely. This is, this is when, when different versions of the same bill uh, come for final negotiation, final rewrites. And 10% of the legislature was absent. But what, what members uh, from your house, who, who's missing? Well, uh, the uh, chair of the uh, International Affairs Committee, uh, Rita Cabanella. Okay. Uh, Joey Manahan. Okay. Um, Tom Broward. Okay. And uh, Glenn Mulcahy. Okay. Okay. Those are the, the four. Well, the members in the Senate went on that trip to Manila, didn't they? Uh, we had the Vice President of the Senate, Senator Kim. We had the Chair of Energy and the Environment, Senator Manor. We had the Chair of, of the Transportation Committee, Senator Kalani English. And finally, the Chair of Public Safety, Willis Barrow. Come on. Now, yeah. has, has anybody been asking where they are? And eight lawmakers fly free to Manila. You know, the question I had is, I'm not sure, uh, I think it was Senator Sparrow who, who characterized this trip as a public-private partnership. And I asked the speaker on the floor, I said, um, you know, we know Hawaiian Airlines paid for the, for the airfare, right. but what about the hotel? What right. about food? What about land travel? Right. Was that coming out of the legislative allowance, or was, was Hawaiian picking it all up? Uh, there was an ethics ruling, there was a letter of... Uh, requesting whether they could do this, and supposedly that has already been filed, even though the Speaker said to Representative Meyer, if you want to file a complaint with the Conduct and Standards Committee, which is just brand new, has never been used, or it has never been open for business yet. In the Senate, when, when DBED, the Department of Business, Economic Development, Tourism, has taken several, several uh, trips, you know, to China and the Philippines, the Far East, um, the, the, the Senate Vice President, Donna Mercado Kim, called a special investigative committee to look at all the things. And I, I think that, you know, it would only be fair if, if some outside body did examine and have subpoena powers in terms of what just transpired in the Senate and the House in terms of accepting free air, free hotel, free ground. Uh, I think that it does not reflect well on the body, and that's why I stood up on a point of personal privilege. You know, in the, in the Senate, it's the Democrats that want to bring back corporate contributions. Oh, yeah. And, and lo and behold, it's, it was only Democrats that took advantage of free air, free hotel, and free ground to come. Not a single Republican went. You know who was it that said power corrupts? Lord Acton, power okay. corrupts absolutely, and absolute power corrupts absolutely. And, and, and when the majority party has been in power too long, uh, and, and they feel that, that nobody will run against them, then they're free to do whatever they want to do, and that's exactly what they're doing.